Hello everyone, my name is Vijay and in previous two videos we discussed about uh, what is a matrix, what are operations on matrices in earlier video we have seen and now let us understand some more things. Transpose of a matrix. Let A is any matrix of order M cross N. For example, let us see with, with the help of example, let A is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. What is the order of this matrix? Its order is 2 cross 3. Now its transpose is a new matrix. It's denoted by A, T in superscript we write or we use A dash also many times. And this is a new matrix in which the rows and columns of original matrix A are mutually interchanged. So the first row 1, 2, 3 now becomes first column 1, 2, 3. And the second row 4, 5, 6 becomes second column here 4, 5, 6. Here order also will be changed. It will be 3 cross 2 order here. So this is called as transpose of matrix A. The transpose finally means mutually interchange between rows and columns. Now there are certain properties. First property that A plus B whole transpose. Right? Notation for transpose is A dash or A T also you may see. A plus B whole transpose if you take it is same as A transpose plus B transpose. Another property that a into B multiply and then take the transpose. It becomes same as B transpose multiplied with A transpose. Note that matrix multiplication is not commutative. I cannot write it as A dash B dash. So here while taking transpose I have reversed the order and then I multiply it. Right? So this is also known as shoe socks property. There is uh, some more property that A multiply with some constant k and then you take transpose it is same as first you take transpose and then you multiply with k where k is what k is a real number one more property that transpose of transpose is same as the original matrix a because once you take transpose rows and columns are mutually interchanged again if you take transpose it will come at the same place. So A transpose to transpose is same as A. These are the properties of matrices. Now, after understanding transpose, let us understand the next concept, symmetric matrix. Symmetric matrix, it is a square matrix. We shall see why squareness is necessary for symmetricness. It is a square matrix, a square matrix A such that its transpose is same as A. Note that when we take transpose, rows and columns are interchanged, even order also gets changed. But even after doing that, if it is a square matrix, order will not get changed. If original matrix A has order 2 cross 2, if we take its transpose, transpose matrix will also have order 2 cross 2 only. But then entries may differ. If the entries are also exactly same, matrix A is called as symmetric matrix. Let us understand with the help of one example. Say, matrix A is of the elements A, H, G, H, B, F, G, F, C of order 3 cross 3. So here if you take A transpose, let us write first row, copy in first column A, H, G, H, B, F, second row, copy in second column, H, B, F and third row G, F, C, write in third column. Here also the order is 3 cross 3. But if we compare these two matrices, the elements are exactly same. 
1 comma 1 h position is matching 1 comma 2 h 1 comma 2 h right third row this element if you see 3 comma 2 h position here also same here also same so matrix a transpose is same as matrix a so a is what symmetric Now, there is one more concept, there is a matrix called as skew symmetric matrix. It is a square matrix. Say the name is A such that A transpose is equal to minus A. Now, A transpose equals to minus A. If you observe in any matrix, when we take its transpose, I will show you the example. Suppose A is 1, 2, 3, 4. In a square matrix, this is 2 cross 2. If you take its transpose, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, did you observe one thing? Diagonal elements did not change. So, while taking transpose, diagonal elements do not change. But when I say A transpose is equal to minus A, so diagonal element equal to minus of itself, right? Something like A is equal to minus A. What does it conclude? It concludes A equals to 0. So, diagonal elements are to be necessarily 0. In, in what? In skew symmetric matrix. Let us see the example. Let A is equal to, let us try to construct a skew symmetric matrix. So, on diagonal place 0, first of all. Because all diagonal elements will be 0. And on the remaining position, think and put the elements, right? Skew it is. Yes, it is a skew. Can be checked. Let us see one more example. Let A is equal to, let us construct 3 cross 3 order matrix. It was of 2 cross 2. So, for 3 cross 3, place 0 on the diagonal. Suppose it is 1, 2. Then what it should be? Minus 1, minus 2. Suppose it is 3, it should be minus 3. You can check that it is skew symmetric matrix. Now, With the concept of symmetric and skew symmetric matrix, some theorems are associated. So let us see one theorem. Theorem is that that A is a square matrix. Then A plus A transpose is always symmetric one and two A minus A transpose is always skew symmetric. Right. Shall we prove it? Let's keep same notations. Dash I have taken in earlier definition. So let's take dash. Shall we prove it? If you want to prove this theorem, the A plus A transpose will also be finally a matrix only. So if you want to prove any matrix symmetric, what is the definition of symmetric? Symmetric mat matrix means its transpose should be equal to itself. So let us take the transpose of A plus A dash. And if it comes same as A plus A dash, it will be proved it is symmetric. A plus A dash will be how much? By using the properties of transpose, you know, A plus B whole dash is A dash plus B dash. So it will be A dash plus A dash to dash. But we know that 
transpose to transpose is matrix itself. We have got a dash plus a. This we can write a plus a dash, right? Because we know that a plus b is same as b plus a. Matrix addition is commutative. So a plus a whole dash becomes same as a plus a dash. It is satisfying x dash equal to x. Right? Whenever x dash equal to x means x is symmetric. So a plus a dash is symmetric. Isn't it? Now to prove a minus a dash, similar steps can be followed. A minus a dash to whole dash will become a dash minus a dash to dash and this becomes a dash minus a. If I take minus out common and commutativeness if I use it becomes a minus a dash. Right? Even commutativity uh, and this uh, a minus a dash whole dash is equal to minus of a minus a dash. It is actually this format. It means x is a skew symmetric. So here a minus a dash is skew. Skew symmetric matrix. Right. Now with the help of these two theorems, there is one more theorem which says that any matrix A, any matrix A of course is square. Because non-square matrices will not have uh, symmetric, uh, will not, then if A is not a square, then A plus A transpose will not be defined. So for that, let A is a square matrix, then A may not be even necessarily symmetric or skew symmetric, but it, this A can always be splitted and can be written as in this manner. We want to say that it will always be possible to write A as the sum of a symmetric matrix and a skew symmetric matrix. Right? Theorem says that if A is any matrix, then A can always be splitted and can, can be written as sum of a symmetric matrix and a skew symmetric matrix. How? In this manner. Half A plus A transpose plus half A minus A transpose. Because if you simplify, you know, half A plus half A becomes A. Half A transpose minus half A transpose gets cancelled. So half A plus half A becomes A. It is same, right, algebraically. And already we have proved that this part is always symmetric. And this A minus A dash is always skew symmetric. Multiplication of half scalar multiplication will not differ, make any difference. It will remain skew symmetric only. So this is the way how we can split A as the sum of symmetric and a skew symmetric matrix. So thank you. And in next uh, video, we will talk about uh, inverse of the matrix. Thank you.